Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Terra. Hope everyone is well. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Guess what? It's Monday. And I'm throwing cards down for the work week top and bottom. I know, I know. It's been a while that I've actually been able to do this on Monday. So, right on. I couldn't do it Sunday, but I'm doing it today. I'm sorry, it's only a little bit late this week. I'm, I'm a typical Sagittarian. I'm, I'm not the best at being on time. And yeah, I overslept again this morning. Because weekends are rough. Because that's my work week. Friday to Monday. Anywho. I'm going to stop babbling and do my spiel. For those of you who are new here and don't know how I do this, I go by the elements. It's Leo season. Leo is a fire sign, so the fire signs will go first, and then we'll go around the wheel accordingly. Same as the general zodiac sign reading. If it resonates, cool! Cheer free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. It's probably just not your story. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. It may play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher and cross-watchers, my friends, the cross-watchers, you guys are always welcome here. Always. I love you guys. I love you all, but a special place in my heart for the cross-watchers because, well, that's kind of how I got into tarot, but neither here nor there. Neither here nor there. Okay. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We're starting out with you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's going on with my fire sign friends this week? Queen of Wands reversed. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Oh, wow. You ain't having that, are you? You have lost passion for something. Hmm. Oh, there's Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. I'm, I'm thinking a house plant got, got put out on the back deck again. You, you're not starting anything with this, are you? No, you're not. I don't think you are. Nope. Hold on, I gotta take a drink. <sighs> Drinking a soda. Shh, don't tell my doctor. He won't be happy with me. I'm not supposed to be doing that anymore. All right, what led up to these events? Hmm. Nine of Wands in the reverse, Two of Wands in the upright. Walls came tumbling down. Maybe you let your guard down a little bit. With the Two of Wands, you decided to let go of one to the past and move forward into the future. You chose a path. Okay, right on. Right on. What happened after that? Nine of Cups, Six of Wands, both in the upright. That's amazing. One cup away. Mm. You were one cup away from happiness. And with the six of wands, it's victory after the battle. That's that's a that's amazing. I'm super happy for you. Okay, I'm afraid to turn over the next two because things were going so darn well. What happened? What's coming in this week? Okay. Three of Pentacles. It's a three. It may indicate third party. Doesn't necessarily have to. It is the Pentacles one after all. Losing passion for something. Somebody's getting the boot, possibly. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. So downward turn of events. Possibly the disconnect in a karmic connection, but you're laying the foundation for something. Possibly. Let's get a little clarity. Get a little clarity. Hmm. It's like one of those connect the dot puzzles. And then you blink and you get lost. What the heck happened? This is why we clarify. Hmm. 
Okay, I'll bite. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Nine of Swords. Okay. You were happy. Finally coming out of that state of the sleepless nights. Or you went totally bat poop bonkers about something. One of the two. Ten of Wands reversed. No. No, I'm thinking this may have been a false happiness. There's still burdens. Still leftover burdens. One more. Still something weighing you down. Four of Wands reversed. Ace of Cups. There's that other cup. It's happiness on a very unsteady foundation is what it was. It's like, ah! This is shaky sketch, my friends. This was shaky sketch. Why is the Six of Wands here? Things left unsaid. Someone may have been a little bit obsessed. Possibly. I'm, I'm thinking that Nine of Swords in the reverse is not the coming out of the... The, the sleepless nights, I think that was the making the sleepless nights worse. I think you were putting on a face that you were happy, or you wanted so desperately to be happy. I'm wondering what that cup's full of. All right, six of wands, empress. Hmm. There was victory. You wanted this. You wanted this so bad. Four of Swords reversed. You became restless about it. There's restless energy here. You're victorious. You finally did it. You wanted it so bad. Then the restless energy. Fast forward. Why is the Wheel of Fortune reversed here? Be careful with this. Be very careful with this. One more. That's passionate communication. Sorry, I had to check that. Karma reverse. There may have been a return. Or there's going to be a return. You may be in separation from someone. Again, the put in the house plant back on the back porch. Lost the passion for something, just got sick of it. Just trying to figure out what you got sick of. Could have something to do with the shaky foundations and things being left unsaid and the burdens not being able to be released. Super sketch. They may try to come back in this week. They may want you to reverse a judgment call. I get one more on this wheel of fortune reverse, please. Just in reverse, possible manipulation here. Possibly. I think this is maybe someone who's been a little bit in and out. Nine of Pentacles, it landed half cocked. They may come in with an apology or an offer. All right, why is the Three of Pentacles here?
Eight of Swords. Emperor reversed, Hangman reversed. You sure could be a foundation of abundance. Could be a reunion. Could be a cooperation, but... I think you're still a little bit vulnerable, fire signs. I don't know. You may still wrap yourself up in what happened because you haven't accepted it for what it was yet. I'm sensing vulnerability like a turtle in a shell. Like, we could work it out again and we can make it work if I, if I just keep my head in the shell and I ignore everything that happened. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting. Let's get some advice. The Fool reversed and the Five of Pentacles reversed. I'm not saying forever. Don't jump into anything. It may be best to leave them out on that back porch on the outside looking in for a while. Especially if you don't trust it at first blush. Go with your instincts on this one for sure. Ten of Cups reversed and the Moon reversed. It will be illuminated in time. Why it didn't work. I think this was a false happiness situation. Might have been a band-aid thing. I don't know. But it will be soon be illuminated. Four of Pentacles in the upright, the chariot in the reverse. My fire sign friends. If you don't release this, you'll never move forward. I know. I'm always talking about release, release, release. Let it go. Truck on, truck on. I'm a Sagittarius. It's what we do. Mm. And the cards say it. I'm not going to argue with the cards. The cards know better than I do. I wasn't there. I don't know your situation. If this is resonating with your situation, it's your choice whether or not you listen to the cards. Two of Pentacles in the reverse, three of Swords in the upright. the second three popped out could have something to do with the third party being involved I don't know maybe that was the comeback I don't know hmm try to find balance with your emotions with this and don't let them break your heart the second time around just be wise to it. Be hip to what's going on. If something is a little bit shady, just listen to your intuition. I'm not saying plant red flags in the ground that aren't there. But if you see the shadow of a red flag way over there, it, it might actually be a red flag. Just be mindful, friends. Be mindful. Just be mindful. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I just read the cards, guys. I don't read anything into the cards. I see the cards for what they are. I don't sugarcoat nothing. I think that's why you guys love me. I'm not a sugarcoater. I don't even sugarcoat stuff for my nine-year-old. I don't. 
Absolutely not. Never have, never will. He's hip to what's going on, for the most part. Okay. Earth. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'd stop and think for a second. Heading for you guys this week. Princess of Pentacles in the reverse. Ace of Pentacles in the upright. Hmm. Okay. Wow. This is like in your face. Wow. Some of you may be, like, rejecting someone to chase after someone else. That's the vibe I'm getting off of that. Like, I don't want your pentacle because there's a pentacle right over there I want a little bit more. Ooh, gotta be careful with that, friends. Gotta be careful with that. Oh, okay, in the past, nine of wands in the upright, ten of pentacles in the upright. One last push toward happiness and abundance, possibly. One last try for that dream. The big brick house with the picket fence and the 2.5 kids and the dog and all that happy jazz. You know what I'm talking about. Could have been distant past, could have been not so distant past. At some point in the past. And it's coming back now, so... Fast forward a little bit. King of Pentacles reversed, hair in the upright. Oh. Okay. I have to clarify that hair fin. I got another upside down Pentacle court card. This could have been the revocation of an offer. This could have been it coming to light that an offer may have been a little bit overblown or not presented in, in an honest manner, perhaps. Maybe was made out to be a little bit more than it really was. This possibly could have been a life lesson. The Hierophant, it's not just the card of blessed unions and marriages. It, it's also the card of hard life lessons. Because the Hierophant is also a teacher. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, what's coming in for this week before we get some clarity? Oh! No! Nine of Swords that break Queen of Wands reversed. Why? something to do with this. I think you may be losing a little bit of sleep this week, wondering if you're making the right choice. Queen of Wands is a woman of intuition. She listens to it very well. She's very fiery. You don't want to know what she'll do with that wand. Probably pop you up the head with it like grandma and her cane. Did you guys have one of those grandmas? I had one of those grandmas. She used to biff me on the back of the head all the time. Make me sit there with my back straight with a book on my head. That's why I slouch now because I'm a rebel. Anyway. 
Hmm. I don't know about all that jazz. Can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for my Earth sign, friends, please? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The upcoming week. All right, I'll bite. Why is it nine of wands here? Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. That's the catch. Okay, you thought you po caught a pretty big fish. Okay, one last push. One last try. Okay, maybe you guys have played around before, maybe you hadn't. Maybe you thought, hey, I finally found my fish. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Ace of Swords and Karma pop out. <laughs> yeah. You possibly may have tried to resurrect something that you thought was long dead. Breath of fresh air, a new start with it. See if you could finally get the dream. If it's someone that you've been playing with before. I mean, you know, if that part of the story resonates take it with you. If it doesn't, just leave it alone. Maybe this karma card is the resurrection of a dream that you thought was dead. Maybe you're a little older. Who knows? One last push. You thought you found the catch. Why is the King of Pentacles reversed here? Nine of Cups. Oh, they had you so close. One cup away. Nine of Swords in the reverse pops out. You're happy. You were sleeping better. One more. Emperor reversed, Wheel of Fortune reversed, that karmic downward turn of events, that spiraling out of control, that Nine of Cups may have been a false happiness or a one-sided happiness because, you know, it's an odd number. It's an odd number. It's in between the eight and the ten. Eight of Cups is the card of moving on. The Ten of Cups is the card of emotional completion. Perhaps you were moving on from something that you thought you'd resurrected. Hmm. I don't know, man. Why is a Hierophant here? Why is a Hierophant here? Hi. Queen of Swords, Sun reversed. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. You may have had to cut this person out of your life. This connection wasn't even or equally felt. I think truth and justice had to prevail. Someone may have been cut out might have something to do with things being a little bit overblown and not being as what they were presented. And take it if it resonates, leave it if it doesn't. Why is the Nine of Swords here for what's going to happen this week? Death. Love it. I love the death card. 
The death card is spiritual growth, friends. The death card is the change within you that this caused. Brought on by the Hierophant. The teacher of life lessons. This changed how you looked at things. If you're losing sleep, don't. Don't. Because get... Oh, I dropped one. Oh! Yeah! This may be somebody you were playing with before, gang. Six cups reversed. That's... Bad feelings and salty memories and... Flip that around so it makes sense if you need to. And this is the change. Whatever's going to go down this week is going to change how you feel about this person. Might leave you with a bad taste in your mouth. Don't let it leave you with a bad taste in your mouth. That's why the Queen of Wands reverse popped out. Some of you may be left with some self-worth issues this week. Don't. I'm just going to say don't. Five of Cups. River of Tears. I don't even see this as a river of tears. I don't. That looks like the tide is withdrawn and the mermaid is just kind of sitting there. I'd rather be swimming. It's okay to process emotions, but don't lose passion. Don't give up. Don't throw the towel in. Don't do that. No. No. See, there's something really good coming for you. It's right here. It's right here. So don't kick yourself in the butt because you had to throw a fish back. It wasn't your fish. Queen of Wands reverse popped out again. more on this. Five of Pentacles in the upright. Leaving somebody out in the cold before they leave you out in the cold. Hmm. Well, let's get your advice before I speak anymore. It's making sense a little bit. King of Wands reversed in the hanged man. Do not allow this situation to hang you up emotionally to the point where you just throw the towel in altogether. Don't do that. No. Mm -hmm. Why? It's part of the journey. It's kind of a crappy part, but it's part of the journey. Nonetheless... You're learning a valuable lesson here. It's not up to me to tell you what that lesson is. That's up to you to go inside and figure out. I just read the cards. Expect some spiritual growth this week, Earth Sign and Friends. Five of Pentacles. Sorry. Yeah, Five of Pentacles, Five of Swords, both in the upright. Wow, that's rough. Let me grab a couple more off of that. Make sure I'm on the same, the right track here before I say anything. Prince of Pentacles reversed, star reversed. You haven't healed from this yet. You need to process and you need to heal before you take or give any offers at this point. 
you need to pick up the pieces and come out of the cold with yourself because if this has left you in any kind of state of lack of self-worth, don't you dare let somebody do that to you. Don't you dare. And if you did that to somebody, it's kind of cold. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of cold. But you got to heal from this. Don't throw the towel in. Because your wish is coming. I, I, I can see it coming for you. A seed has been planted. I don't think it's this seed, but a seed has been planted. King of Pentacles upright, Page of Pentacles in the reverse. That's better. That's better. If you until you know the offer is solid, don't. Don't. And if you're given offers, until you're ready for that offer to be solid, don't. Just don't. Uh, I don't know who this is for. It could possibly be for Capricorn. It's the shadow side card, otherwise known as the devil. So the shadow side upright, ace of cups in the reverse. If there's something even a little bit sketch, specifically if it's a new connection, a little oppressive, a little toxic, a little, oh, oh, what the hell, of a certain nature that I, I won't speak of at this time. If you need clarity on that, email me. Don't take the cup. Don't offer the cup and don't take the cup if it seems even a little bit toxic because that's not what you want. Toxicity doesn't lead to solid, stable things. Toxicity drags you on the path that you're not supposed to be on. And I know I said a thousand times all paths lead to the same destination. It's just the journey which you walk. Why make it harder on yourself? I just read the cards, guys. I just read the cards. Air sign friends, Gemini Libra Aquarius. What's going on with you guys this weekend? Let me uh, get some cards sorted out here. Mm -hmm. Relationships suck sometimes. They do, but we grow from them. It's not all bad. It doesn't have to be a bad experience. Even the worst breakup doesn't have to be a bad experience. And I've had some bad breakups, let me tell you. Looking back, I wouldn't change a thing. Some of us have to learn the hard way. It must be my Sagittarius nature. I know, I'm always ripping on Sagittarians. No, I'm not. I love Sagittarians. They're my brothers and sisters of the Zodiac. I get them. I feel them on a soul level in a way that most people don't feel Sagittarius and the struggle. Because I live it every day. Anyway, I'm talking about air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What's going on with you guys this week? Star in the reverse, Empress in the upright. Mm. Oh boy. Hmm. Okay. Pardon me. I'm getting a little frog in my throat. Could be Aquarius you're dealing with. Could be a Gemini. Well, you've both popped up in your own reading. What do you know? <sighs> a 
there's a disconnect. Could be a lack of communication. Could be a missed chance meeting. But it's the one. It's the one. What happened? Eight of Pentacles. Upright. Four of Wands. Reversed. Someone could have been concentrating a lot on work. Or putting a lot of work into a connection that went south anyway. Take it however resonates. The Four of Wands reversed is the card of slamming doors and shaky foundations. We don't want that, do we? Especially if we're dumping a lot of work and effort into it. Fast forward a little. Page of Swords. Two of Swords. Honest communication. Honest conversations. Decisions being made. Mm, we're going to get clarity. I don't like that decision being made. She's blindfolded. She doesn't have all the information. Would you throw swords at a target with a blindfold on? I wouldn't. I mean, I'm a crazy fire sign, but I'm not that crazy. That's someone making a decision without all the information. Not knowing what to do. Fast forward a little bit to this week. What's going on? Five of Wands in the reverse, King of Cups, End of Conflict, opening up emotionally. I think somewhere between here and here, a conversation happened that didn't go so well. Somebody may have been flying off at the mouth, not knowing all the facts, possibly. star in the reverse. It's that <sighs> multiple things. I mean, lack of healing. I guess in a, in a roundabout way, it can indicate fighting, but not here in the three. Not here in the three. Not here in the 3D. That's like up in the 5D stuff that we're talking about. I just keep hearing that's not how it was supposed to go down. Not sure who that's for. Let's get a little clarity for my air sign friends, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. If I can get these darn cards to shuffle. Can I put intention in the card? Two of swords, or sorry, three of swords came out. Somebody may be a little bit heartbroken about this situation. All right. Why is two of swords up right here? It's the only card I really want to know about. Okay. Seven of cups. Options. Oh, wow. One more. Queen of Wands. Hmm. Throwing knives at a target, not knowing if all the information. Leaving options open. 
can also mean temptations. I mean, every cup has something in it. There's just some not so positive things in some of these cups. I'm just saying. Queen of Wands could be a fire sign you're dealing with. Someone could be trying to uh, make a decision based on passion or things of a certain nature. Sugar and spice and all things nice. Two of Cups. Two of Cups. That's amazing. I like it. I like it a lot. But you got to be careful with it. Because, yeah... Two of Cups connection can be bliss. It's a soulmate connection. And I will attest to the fact that not every soulmate connection has a positive outcome. Because some soulmates... Well, an, at first blush, positive outcome. It all depends on your perspective. The worst breakup I ever had is the one I'm the most grateful for. Because it's the one that taught me the most about myself. And I thank God for that man every day. I do. I do. He's in my prayers every night. He is. I still love him dearly. I'd never date him again, but, you know, I still love him dearly. I appreciate the fact that he exists, that he came into my life when he did. I'm going to have to show appreciation. This is a soulmate connection, guys. I just, you got to be careful what cup you choose. Because it's going to change the experience a little. Just be careful with it. Why is the Five of Wands here? Why is the Five of Wands reversed here? Hangman reversed. Coming out. Okay, so you're coming out of a state of confrontation or avoiding confrontation, but still not accepting it for what it is. Nine of Pentacles. Page of Wands, ha! Huh. Moving forward, laying the weapons down, deciding to strike out to be independent, moving on, heading on up. Why is the King of Cups here? Five of Swords. Hmm. One more. The Fives are the cards of change. The Swords talk about communication. Maybe how y'all talking to each other is going to change a little bit more. Possibly. Prince Page of Pentacles, that can indicate an apology. Hmm. Maybe an apology that you've been waiting for could be coming this week. Picking up the pieces. Deep, profound, mutual love. Six of Wands. Someone swallowing their pride, possibly. Possibly. We'll see what happens for you, Air Signs. Get some advice. Mm. Nine of Wands upright, five of Pentacles reversed. When they come knocking on the door, let me in, let me in. Well, it's up to you whether you want to open the door or not. It's up to you whether you want that wall to come tumbling down. Knight of Cups reverse, Six of Wands. Oh gosh, this is a return. If they return. If they decide they want to be the comeback king. 
and it's up to you what you do. I just read the cards, but the cards are saying until they want to commit. No. 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 That's what you want. They broke your heart once. Just saying. The shadow side of the reverse and the world in the reverse. Oh boy. Well, gee. Okay. Until you disconnect from the chaos and the toxicity of this, it's never going to be over. It's just going to keep spinning and spinning and spinning and things are never going to change. The cycle is not going to end. You will not evolve and grow with souls. You will not do what you were supposed to do. Somebody has to end it. So if they have come back and they have not changed and they have not disconnected from their crap, I'm just saying this better be a big fat pentacle that they come back with for an apology and a big fat lump of pride they swallow. I love you. I miss you. I want you back. Let me in. Let me in. Because you've already decided that enough's enough. You got nine pentacles. You got all you need. You got all. You don't need. You really don't need this tenth one, especially if there's stuff attached to it. Negative energy and toxicity. You decide what you want. King of Swords upright, Empress in the reverse. There's the Empress in the upright right there. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's cold, Your Highness. That is cold. Cold. This is saying that the situation calls for honesty and logic. The King of Swords is not an emotional guy. He's not. He represents truth. He represents logic. Thought. And he begs the question, is this what you want? You need to decide what you want and you need to make a non-emotional decision. And that's a hard thing to do when you've got a broken heart. It is. Just decide what you're leading with. That's what I have for you, my air sign friends. Okay. Well, my water sign friends. Oh boy. Woo! I'm getting tired. I was going to try to do another August reading. I think I'm just going to have to wait till morning. I'm starting to get a little tipsy, topsy, turbsy here. I shouldn't say tipsy because I'm not drinking, but definitely need some sleep for real. My ex-husband always says, I'll sleep when I'm dead. Now, I, I would rather, you know, rest and enjoy life now. It's easier to enjoy life when you're well rested. It makes everybody a little bit happier. But he's a Leo, so. Water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What do you guys got going on this week? Five of Wands and the Devil. Hmm. Okay. 
this is either some not so nice pillow talk or wow who are you fighting with it, it could be a Capricorn could be a fire sign this is like This is like a connection that brings the devil out in you. Probably in both of you. I think this is a connection where y'all are always fighting. Like to a point where it's toxic. For everyone involved. Alright, what happened? Queen of Cups, Ace of Pentacles reversed. You love this person, they probably love you. But this is a seed that was not meant to grow. We'll get some clarity on that in a second. Fast forward. And oh gosh, two cards of return. Some of you had somebody come back. Six of swords reversed, eight of wands reversed. This is not forward moving. This is going backward. It's going backward. This is this is not okay communication. I'm hearing stopping time, trying to stop time, trying to rewind time. The seed was never meant to grow. This is some toxic shit stuff. I gotta try not to swear, I'm sorry. This is some toxic stuff. Alright, well what's coming in for this week? Hmm. Well. Pardon me, get this. Frog in my throat again. Eight of Pentacles reversed, Eight of Cups reversed. <sighs> not putting the work in. One of you might not be putting the work in. The other one may be refusing to leave. Like, firm feet planted, I ain't going nowhere. I got three upside down eights here. Wow. That's not transitioning. Let's get some clarity. Wow. Wow, water signs. I'd be a little emotional too. This seed was not meant to grow. Why is the Queen of Cups here? King of Pentacles reversed. There's love there. Overblown offer. Something made out to be bigger than it was. Four of Cups in the reverse, straight out ignoring. Ignoring what's trying to be handed to them. You may have felt ignored. Or they felt ignored. Take it however it resonates. What? Six of Cups. This led to salty, nasty feelings. Six of Cups reversed. Why is Ace of Pentacles reversed?
two of wands. Somebody moved on. Somebody went off on their own path. Somebody let go of that wand to the past and moved forward. Why is the six of swords here? Why is the six of swords reversed here? Six of wands in the upright. Return, 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 return. What signs did somebody come back? Five of Wands led to nothing but conflict. Why is the Eight of Wands reversed here? The Magician. Trying to manifest, trying to bend things to their own will. You could have wished them back. Wheel of the Year in the reverse, yet another card of return. A cycle failing to end. One or the other of you manifested this. You know you can do that, right? If you ask the universe for something under the right circumstances in the right place at the right time, they hear you. Well, they hear everything you say. God hears everything. He's a lot of ears. Sometimes your ears, his ears are a little clogged and he doesn't quite get what you wanted. But you'll always get what you needed, even if it's a wake-up call, which is what I think this is. You manifested this return. The downward cycle of events, the karmic cycle of events. Why is the Eight of Pentacles reversed here? Eight of Cups reversed, oh my gosh. Somebody's not wanting to work on this anymore and the other person is firmly planted. I am not going anywhere until we work on this. That's can, That can be considered obsessive behavior when you're literally not willing to let someone or something go. One more on that, please. tower. And then it all came crashing down. The sudden and abrupt change is coming this week, water signs. It's coming. The big kahuna. And the tower is not bad. Sometimes change is necessary. Sometimes the house literally has to crumble around you for you to decide, I need a new house. Why is the Eight of Cups reversed here? Ten of Wands reversed. Someone refusing to release the burden. Someone refusing, refusing to release the burden. Feet firmly planted, I'm not going anywhere. Three of Pentacles reversed, I don't care how shaky this foundation is. Mm -mm. It's not coming together. Nine of Wands reversed, the star reversed, the Six of Pentacles in the upright. You're not even getting along in the 5D at this point. Throwing in the towel. Why Six of Pentacles? Why the Six of Pentacles? Page of Swords reversed. Knight of Swords reversed. I think someone... You or the other person may be just completely blocking all communication altogether this week.
because that's the only way this is going to end is if someone just maybe that's the sudden and abrupt change someone finally cutting that cord you know what I gotta be done I gotta be done this is not healthy for either of us I gotta be done <clears throat> could be you could be the other person all right let's get some advice well wacky energy water signs wacky energy I don't know how I feel about that the hermit reverse six wands in the reverse Do not just put your head in the sand on this and ignore what's going on around you. Don't pretend it's not happening, because it is. And... It's okay to say that you... Come back and say that you lost the battle. It's okay for it to not work out, because it may not have been meant to. Let's just throw that out there. By the looks of things, y'all tried this once and it didn't work the first time. It's okay to finally cut the cord and say enough is enough. There, No one will fault you for that. The Five of Cups and the Magician in the Reverse. Do not. And I'm, I don't know who I'm talking to louder. The Water Side of the Cross Watcher. Do not use your emotions to manipulate people. That is not okay. It's not okay. Don't use your emotions to manipulate people to get what you want. It's kind of sick, actually. And definitely not okay. So if you're the one doing that, stop it. If you're the one putting up with that, stop it. Just stop it. One more set on that. Three of Wands in the upright, Page of Wands in the reverse. Stop sitting by the phone waiting for a text message that's not going to come through. Stop waiting by the dock, waiting for that ship that may never come. The moon in the reverse the Three of Cups in the reverse, eventually in time, it will be illuminated as to why this didn't work out. You may not be supposed to, and that doesn't even make sense. I'm not even making sense. It may not make sense right now. It's not supposed to. It's not. The light will be shed on it in the universe's time. And the universe doesn't care if you want answers right now. You're not supposed to know. It's not the bigger part of the picture at this moment. Ace of Cups in the upright, King of Cups in the reverse. Wasn't there something about ignoring a cup somewhere around here? I'm pretty sure there was. I don't know, there may, there may have been another spread. I swore there was something about ignoring the cup. Oh, Four of Cups right there. You emotionally closed yourself off because of what happened here. Like completely to everything. And you'll never have the opportunity to cup you're supposed to get. Okay, water sign friends. I've been on here for an hour, and I think I'm beating a dead horse here, and I'm getting a, getting a little fired up, and nobody likes Big Mama Sag when she's all fired up, so I love you guys. Okay, a lot of you guys like me when I get all fired up, but I'm tired, and my voice is starting to go, so bless you. I miss you guys. Thanks so much for stopping by. I will catch you guys Thursday night or Friday morning for the weekend top and bottom of the deck and I'm going to finish out the August cycle this week I promise I'm finishing it out I know I'm late, I'm sorry life happened alright I love you, be blessed, I'll catch you soon